Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here are another three easy quarantine recipes. Now today we're making a quesadilla stuffed with some ground beef, some black beans, and a lot of other goodies that I'm gonna share with you. And I really wanted to get a vegetarian dish for my vegetarian friends. So I made a mushroom stroganoff one pot pasta. And that was actually delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And lastly, we are making a Asian American stir fry. So let's get cooking. Up first is our delicious quesadilla. So this is a black bean and beef quesadilla. We are sauteing our garlic for about a minute before we add in our ground beef. And then we are just allowing our ground beef to brown before we add in our black beans. And make sure to rinse out your black beans before you add them to your ground beef. I used canned black beans. And now I'm just stirring everything together. I'm adding in some corn. Adding in some paprika. And of course, my number one tip throughout this video will be stirring everything together. So just mixing that in. I'm adding in some parsley some salt pepper and some onion powder I did steam some rice to the side so this is just plain white rice. I didn't add any seasoning to it. It's going to absorb everything that we have in our pan here. So just mixing that well together. And now we're gonna take a separate pan. We're gonna butter it up, put a tortilla on top. Then we're gonna take our ground beef. We're gonna place it on top of the tortilla and you wanna flatten it out so the cheese melts easier. We're gonna grab another tortilla, put it on top, and butter it up. Once again, we are flattening everything down just so it melts easier. And then we're flipping it. And pressing it down once again. You can definitely check the bottom to see how toasty you want your tortilla before you take it out. And then you just cut it and it's all done. I kind of made a lot but my family likes to eat a lot so that's pretty much it. We are all done with our quesadillas. I like to eat them with some sour cream and some hot sauce. Up next, we're making the one pot mushroom stroganoff pasta. We are gonna heat up our olive oil, add in some onion and some garlic and saute that for about a minute. before we add in our mushrooms. And I do apologize, I was battling with the steam here. So after we put in the mushrooms, of course we're just gonna stir all the ingredients together. We're gonna add in some paprika, pepper, salt, basil, some parsley, And we're gonna add two tablespoons of sour cream. We want all of those juices to mix in together. Then we're gonna add the pasta and we just wanna drown that pasta. So we want the water above it. And we're gonna allow that to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
and then we're gonna add in the cheese and we're gonna put stir that in and we are basically done now if this is too watery for you you could definitely drain your pasta but i thought it was perfect Lastly, we have our Asian American stir fry. It's delicious with chicken, and this time we made it with beef. To our meat, we're gonna add one egg, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a drizzle of olive oil, and we're going to add some flour. We just wanna cover the meat. We don't wanna add too much, just to the point where the meat is covered. And we're gonna add some pepper. Please don't add salt to this. The soy sauce is already salty, so you don't wanna over salt. And now we're gonna just blend all of this together. And we're gonna add it to our pan. We're gonna cook this for about seven to 10 minutes. Honestly, my number one tip for all three of these recipes is just stir it very well. Um, so you just want to gradually flip those over. And we're going to take another pot and add some olive oil and some vegetables. And the cool thing about this recipe is you could honestly add any kind of vegetables that you might have in your fridge. And it will work perfectly. Then we want to combine the meat and the veggies so I like to dump all of the meat in the veggie tray after they're both done and then use the meat pan to make our sauce and once again we're just boiling some rice to the side and I am just drizzling some soy sauce and adding in garlic and sauteing that for about 30 seconds before I add in the rice and this is just white rice it hasn't been seasoned at all and we're just gonna stir that in and then we're gonna add our veggies and our meat and we're just gonna blend all of that together and that's pretty much it it's all done it's so good I make this at least once a week. I make it with chicken, I make it with beef. Either way, it works. And you could do this with any kind of veggies that you might have in your house. All right, you guys, I hope you had fun cooking with me. If you do try any of these recipes, please send them to me. I enjoy seeing what you guys make. And if you have any suggestions for me, I would love to try your recipes as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, ring that bell if you wanna see videos as soon as I post them. I hope that you guys are all healthy and well, and I will see you guys next week. Here are another three easy quarantine recipes. Another three easy quarantine recipes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. That's blue and Ricky, Ricky and blue. Because you need that, right? <laughs>